What is good, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of The Producer's Life. I'm your man, Big Boy Trax, and I hope everybody is having a great Memorial Day weekend. I want to go ahead and do a soul beat from scratch, and we're going to be using the MPC X. All the sounds are going to come straight out of the hype plug in that comes with the MPC X. I'm going to try to make this thing soulful and just smooth as possible. So, I want you guys to sit back and relax, and I hope everybody enjoys this beat making video. Let's go. That's fire. I'm trying to come up with an idea what I want to do far as the drums. So I'm gonna go ahead and start off with an open hat just to kind of get things going. Just do that straight through. So let's go ahead and lay that down first. about switching out that them drums up something like that maybe ah anyway let's go ahead keep going All right guys, so before we move on to the next instrument, I do want to point out that I did switch those drums up to what I really wanted, and this is what I did with them. You'll hear the difference like immediately. Gave it some space. Here it goes. It's just a better sounding groove. So with that being said, next we're moving on to the bass line. For this bass line, I'm actually using an analog thump sub, and that's under the hype plug. And also, I may switch it out later, but I feel like this will sound pretty good in here. But let's go ahead and lay this down and keep this thing going. That don't sound bad. Let's let's solo that, and I may switch that up. That don't sound bad, but we'll fool around with the bass line a little bit more later on, but let's go ahead and move on. Let's go ahead and add a bell in here. Now, sometimes I'll use a digital bell or I'll use a more traditional sounding bell, like a, a mallet, if I'm saying that right. And this time, instead of using an actual bell, I actually will be using a piano in the hype plug in, and this is called the Fantasy 2 Piano, and I'm gonna just be basically playing it in a higher register to kind of give off that more belly type of sound. So it's really a piano, but the higher you go up, the more bell-like it sounds, so let's go and lay this down. Now, 
without further ado, it's time to add in a string. And for the string, once again, we will be using the height plugin. And this preset is called the Dynamic Strings, and this has a nice amount of reverb on it. Smidge, touch of delay, and it's just kind of like the perfect string for this beat, I feel like. So anyway, let's go ahead and lay this down. We're gonna go ahead and follow this melody, and let's keep this thing going. <laughs> Alright guys, so moving on, I want to go ahead and layer that electric piano which we laid down earlier. Sticking with the hype plugin, we will be using a preset called the Piano Plus Pad. So this is basically a pad stacked on top of piano. Let's go ahead and lay this down. <laughs> Once in every blue moon when I'm doing a soul beat, I'll add in like a synthesized lead, but typically I try to keep everything acoustic sounding, but this time I'm feeling like I want to go ahead and add a lead in there. And this comes out of the hype plugin, and it's called the Porter Soft Saw Lead. I clearly got to do some editing to it. Like certain parts, I feel like they're not uh, gliding as they should. Maybe I didn't hold on to the note long enough. See that right there? Yeah, I'm going to have to stretch those notes out just to get it right. So for the final sound for this track, I'm going to go ahead and add in a vocal. And for the vocal, we're going to be using Arcade. I found a pretty cool one in Hooked. And this is what it sounds like. <laughs> And this is the second one I'm going to use. So I'm going to kind of do like a little mix and matching just to kind of um, kind of switch it up. So let's go and lay this down. time it is it's time to get this track arranged get all the drums tracked out i'm gonna go ahead and export everything into cubase and then i'm gonna get everything arranged so you guys can check out what this finished product is gonna sound like so let's go ahead and hop back into this guys so that wraps up this beat making video i do hope you guys enjoyed that i think overall the beat came out fire i was going back and forth with the pitch because i wasn't sure how high i wanted to go chose around four semitones and i felt like that was a sweet spot for it but you guys let me know what you think about it below in the comments if you enjoyed this beat making video go ahead and give it a like give it a thumbs up and do all that good stuff and if you have not subscribed please make sure you go and subscribe because i will be coming back once again this week with another beat making video i want to thank everybody for watching and kicking it with your man big boy tracks right here at the producer's life and I'll see y'all next time. Peace.